Hey, what's up guys? Eskis here, and welcome to episode 4 of Fatal World Cup. In the previous episode, we managed to collect 380k, and uh, I gave you guys some options as always. Uh, not the ones which you probably would expect since we managed to get a lot of coins, but like I've said uh, before in the previous episode, I simply don't have enough coins on my account basically to, uh, to afford those. So pair 1 was Pogba and Casimero, and pair 2 was the uh, special version of Jimenez and also Oblak and uh, pair 2 was the winner so that means we finally have that player from Uruguay in our squad was one of the demands we uh, we needed to have for this fatal and uh, if we move on to our substitute we've got a player from uh, from Manchester City Gabriel Jesus probably one of the best strikers I've used in uh, FIFA 18 and uh, we're going to be using his upgraded version as a substitute so we go into the first game where we come up against a team in the uh, popular 4-1-2-1-2 narrow formation 93 chemistry um, also one of the new things which got added I think in this fatal that um, you can actually play against teams um, above 90 chemistry usually it had to be exactly 100 chemistry but um, yeah now it changed so uh, it's also easier for me to uh, to actually search teams but anyway you can see that we got the first chance and uh, my opponent does get himself a goal with Aguero but it was offside and uh, immediately after he decided to uh, press start and already leave now if this was after 10 minutes this game would have counted, but since it was only in the ninth minute, um, this game doesn't count and we simply have to play a new game. Which I didn't mind, to be honest, because otherwise the video would have been really, really short, I think. I basically would have showed you guys one game. But anyway, we come up against a full Byron side and um, something that most of you probably won't know, unless you're probably Dutch or you're a Byron fan, is that I think Byron is the only club team which ever played against a nation. And that nation actually is Holland, so if you've... Uh, if you've never like heard about it or something, if you've never seen the highlights, I would suggest checking it out on uh, on YouTube. It, it was something about Robin's injury and uh, Byron wanted something for that in return or something. I'm not too sure what it exactly was, but it was about his injury, which was uh, a bit weird. But um, yeah, quite fun. If there are any other uh, club teams which actually faced against full nation teams, then let me know in the comments. I'm really curious about that. But anyway, after 10 minutes, uh, also in this game, we... Uh, we got a situation going. We got a penalty and it was Mo Salah who uh, finds the back of the net very nicely. Just like uh, Harry Kane did uh, during the World Cup. Uh, then the 20th minute uh, on the uh, sideline there we got some skills with Ronaldo. Played it on through to Roberto Firmino. Want to pass it off but we picked it up with Firmino again. Then a very nice finish. Also into the top corner. Making it 2-0. Giving us another goal. And also this guy decided to leave early. After just 20 minutes or something, he already decided to leave. And um, this game actually does count since I mentioned before um, it was after 10 minutes. So, um, yeah, a free 100k for us. And then we move on into the second game, technically the third one. Um, we come against, again, a team in the 4 one 2 2 formation. And um, we had some players which were on different positions, such as, I think, Fabregas and Fernandinho. And after he had the first chance, he also decided to uh, to put them in the correct positions. But um, we also got a very big chance early on here with Firmino. Hits the post there and then from the rebound wasn't able to uh, to get a, uh, a shot or a header in. Then the 14th minute we send away Cristiano Ronaldo. We took a touch too much I think and um, therefore I, I kind of messed up. Still was a uh, nice chip there but a fantastic save from his uh, goalie. Then uh, in the 18th minute he gets himself a chance here as well with uh, I think Sterling. Just goes wide and you can see from the halftime stats that um, my opponent had a lot of possession. We had more chances than him but was still only nil-nil. And um, I decided to change something. Actually bring on Gabriel Jesus for, um, I think it was Grich, uh, the silver player from uh, from Liverpool, which we still need to replace. Um, but anyway, in the second half we go. A 1-2 there from uh, Ronaldo and also Firmino on the left-hand side. Um, this Ronaldo there with the fake Rabona of some skills, trying to find a, uh, a gap there to cross it in. We managed to cross it in. The goalkeeper actually came out and tries to uh, like punch it away, but completely fails. And then it is... The uh, golden substitute Jesus who heads it in and uh, gives us the lead in this game. And uh, what a way as well for uh, from him to uh, to get things going on in this game. Um, then in the 60th minute or something, I decided to change formation. Also uh, decided to change it to the 4 one 2 2 narrow since this guy, um, he had a lot of pressure on me. He played very, very well, um, used to drag back a lot and stuff. And uh, just like in the, in the first half, he had a lot of possession. So I just needed to change something for myself in order to kind of get grip on the game. And uh, hopefully score that second goal. And uh, you can see that in the 70th minute, after a lot of passing, he, he managed to get himself a chance yet again with Sterling. 
but again he missed it. I think it was a shot with his uh, with his weaker foot. Then in the 82nd minute, towards the end of the game, it is uh, Salah there who plays it on through to yet again Gabriel Jesus goes inside the box, passes it off to Ronaldo. Then what a strike off the crossbar, and I think it hit the post there as well. Not too sure, but a very very nice goal there from uh, Ronaldo, the uh, new player for Juventus, as most of you already know. Really excited for next season when uh, when he plays the Champions League and stuff, if they actually uh, have a chance of winning it. But uh, anyway, in the 90th minute, we got another chance here with the man Ronaldo. Um, I completely felt the fake Rabona there, but still managed to get some sort of a skill run going. Nice body feint past two defenders, then uh, we create some space, shoot with his left foot, but it goes wide. And uh, that's also how that game would end up. So uh, end up winning this game 2-0, very tough game. Uh, probably one of the tougher games I've played in, uh, in weeks or in months. And uh, you can see as well, uh, stats-wise, that uh, he didn't create much. He only had one chance, the, the one with Sterling. And that was about it really for the second half. So um, yeah, we move on to the menu. You can see we uh, managed to collect 240k. But just like in the previous episode, I simply cannot spend uh, all those coins on players since I don't have much on my account left. So pair one is going to be a player from Real Madrid, four-star skiller Isco. And then we have another Spanish player in uh, Ander Herrera, very, very good midfielder. And uh, he fits into this team nicely, does get full chemistry as well. So uh, that is going to be pair one. And uh, pair two is going to be uh, also a player from Real Madrid and from the Premier League. We have uh, Casimero. And uh, I think the upgraded version of Fernandinho, also one of my uh, favorite players of all time, really, when it comes to midfielders anyway, in FIFA. So uh, let me know in the comments down below. Also, make sure to vote top right-hand corner on which pair you guys would like to see uh, included in this team for the next episode, which will hopefully be out tomorrow, by the way, um, as I kind of need to, uh, to hurry up things in order to, uh, to play my knockout game. But um, anyway, also make sure to let me know uh, which player you would like to see as a new substitute. There will be a link at the top of the description as well. But anyway, that's where we're going to be ending off this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like. would be very much appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure to turn notifications on as well so you don't miss a single upload. But anyway, that's going to be the end. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. -bye.